I'd like to ask the Minister for Education, Sport and Culture how he will replace the Children's Services Partnership that was disbanded by his department in 20, December 2017 and whether its demise has had a negative impact on the provision of services for children. <coughs> well, on the Minister for Education, Sport and Culture, Mr Crugeen to reply. Uh, thank you Mr President. I thank the Honourable Member for Gar for her question. The functions of the Children's Services Partnership were taken on by the lead officer group of the Social Policy and Children's Subcommittee of the Council of Ministers. To the best of my knowledge, there has been no detrimental effect on the provision of services to children. During the transition to ensure continuity, outstanding actions of the Children's Services Partnership were transferred into a combined action plan, the progress of which is reviewed quarterly by the subcommittee, reported to the Council of Ministers, and was last laid before Tynwald in July 2018. Supplementary, Mrs. Kane. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank the Minister for his response, but I confess I'm a little disappointed. I was looking for the bit more detail that the Chief Minister suggested would be coming from the, for, for these further questions. Um, can I ask the Minister, has his department lost sight of children since that word was removed from the title of his department? Um, it's all very well that it's going into an action plan and the lead officer group, but what about the function of the critical friend, that outside um, helicopter view and input? Does the department know everything it needs to know about services for children that it no longer values or invites that outside scrutiny or input? Minister to reply. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, no, the department hasn't lost sight of children. It is very clear about its roles regarding children. If I can read uh, from the minutes off the partnership, it was also agreed that the new member boards should invite other members of the CSP to attend occasionally to update them. So they will be coming into, into the subcommittee. Um, Gary McManus had uh, circulated his views on where the various work streams should sit, but had not received any feedback from CSP on his views. He therefore assumed that CSP were happy with his views and would email the lead and inform them of the work streams that sat. Um, CSP were happy that the commissioning was in the title of the new board and would be addressed under the new structure. Given all the above information, CSP were happy for the new structure to proceed. So, Mr. President, the CSP were happy for this process to go forward. Mrs. Kane, supplementary. Thank you, Mr. President. As I have said, members of CSP had significant concerns over its future and as part of the disbanding it was suggested there was going to be a joint commissioning body of government of several departments coming together to jointly fund services for children. Can I ask the Minister if that in fact has happened? Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, you know, the Council of Ministers Committee does include those departments. Um, Mr. President, I'm happy to circulate the minute from CSP, and those agreed minutes does not show any of the concerns the Honourable Member is mentioning. Question, uh, final supplementary, Mrs. Kane. Thank you, Mr. President. I think the Minister would find that a lot of the concerns were raised by the head of Children and Families uh, Division within Department of Health and Social Care and other members in emails following the closure of the and the disbanding of the Children's Services Partnership. And it's in terms of the future. What um, audit does the department itself do of children, of their services, of perhaps gaps in provision that the children themselves can identify? Has his department engaged with children and young people to identify gaps in provision or indeed to look to fill those with the joint combined action plan or in fact anything new within his department? Minister to reply. Uh, thank you Mr President. Um, I'm not aware of these emails. I'm sure if there was concerns raised by members, they should have used the appropriate means to uh, advise people on the committee of those concerns. It's no use after the committee is wound up then to say they weren't happy with it. They should have voiced their concerns at that time. And yes, the department does carry out, it's carried out a, a youth survey and, and it's continually working with other departments to work with young children. Supplementary, uh, Ms. Betterson. Thank you, Mr. President. The Minister mentioned that there was a mechanism by which other 
uh, external organisations could comment and be brought in to give evidence to the SPCC's uh, committee on this. And I wondered, since the disbansion in December 2017, if he could outline how many times that's happened? Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I don't have that answer with me. Uh, 